This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 4. Asynchronous Commands. Ooh, we're getting into some tough stuff. As you just saw, the callback function for a Read Records command does not run immediately. In fact, commands outside the callback function will run. We say that the callback function of Read, record, read Records is asynchronous because the rest of your program will not wait for the response from the database. It will, it will continue executing and eventually the callback function will be triggered once the database has arrived, once the data has arrived from the database. Ooh, let's see. Asynchronous is the opposite of synchronous. In a program, we talk about wh whether functions are synchronous or asynchronous. Synchronous or in sync Things happen at the same time. The dance moves were in sync with the music. Asynchronous is on, not in sync. Things happen at different times or not in a prescribed sequence. When functions are asynchronous, which is what we're going to have, if function A calls or triggers function B, function B will execute at some later time in the future, and A will continue and not wait. Right, so it would call function B and then below it says print hello, it prints hello, and then maybe B runs eventually. When the functions are asynchronous, if A calls or triggers function B, function B will execute at some later time in the future, A will continue without waiting. Yeah. All right. This allows your program to keep running while waiting for a response from a database, but asynchronous commands can make it challenging, yep, to keep track of the order your program will run in. You typically think of programs waiting for one command to finish before the next. This style of programming is referred as synchronous and is generally much easier to read and write. Callback functions are like event handlers. Event handlers for UI or user interface elements, right, stuff on the screen, can be triggered at any time. You cannot know ahead of time the event will be triggered, so all the code that should, that should run when the event tri is triggered needs to go in the event handler. The same thing is true of the callback function and for data commands. If a piece of code should run after a response has been received from the database, it must be placed in the callback function. Tip: Treat the callback function of a data command like an event handler. It gets triggered when you receive the response from the database. Your code from the previous exercise is provided. Move your second console log command inside your data function. Oh, yeah. Run and pay close attention to the order which the commands run. You can check the debug console to see the console log statement can run first. So it's going to run records and then finish because this function isn't going to be executed until we know we already have our parameter back records. So we're going to run records. It will print them out and then print finish. But da uh... We're getting into tricky stuff. I'm excited to see what we're going to do with it. Let's keep going.